Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. What do we have for today? Well, we are starting off with our Mansions of Madness painting guides. I'm not doing all the investigators on camera, I will do a few of them, but not, as I say, them all. Okay, it's time for painting. The legend, the man, the myth, the guy who is Harvey Walters. What we need to do first is skin. Okay, so get on a fine detail brush, or finer brushes we can get. Let's put it that way. I'm going to just angle my lamp around because when I'm trying to do this it's actually shining in my eyes. Okay, what we're trying to do this is work from the inside out. So we'll start off with skin and then go on to clothing. So you're building up layers. You're basically dressing him. Okay, that's it. This model has been primed, it's had a grey primer. The primer I've started using is uh, from a uh, company here in Britain, don't know whether you'll have it in the States or wherever, called Halfords. It's, um, it's their own brand. It's the grey primer, Halfords grey primer. The shop itself is basically like uh, car for cars and bikes, but they do quite a good range in spray paints, and they do have a set of acrylic-based sprays, which are very good indeed for spring models okay so there's um, his face done for some strange reason his hands don't seem to be incredibly detailed because of course he's wearing gloves I don't know, but the hand on it but doesn't seem to show any fingernails or anything. But saying that, that's not vitally important, is it really? What we're looking for is just a paint scheme on the model to make it look much better when you're playing the game and that is all we ask for there we are next and I am quite quiet with this today I've noticed um, my voice is getting a little better but I don't want to be talking incredibly loudly For the simple reason being, I don't want to strain my voice too much. Okay, so we're going to carry on with white scare now. And with this, we're going to be doing... His hair. Strange that may seem, yes, I'm going straight onto his hair in white. I'm not going over with grey, first of all. I'm not dry brushing over the, the primer. I'm actually doing a coat of white on his hair because we're going to be filling in the, the recesses with a wash. 
and we don't want a very thick um, coater here we're looking for obviously as always with these paintings a very thin coat which is which can be a little bit difficult with some of the paints especially with like this white paint I have it's very thick very gloopy and I really do think it's one of the ones designed to go over um, primer with it with the thickness of it anyway I think there should be another white which could be a little bit oops I've gone over his face that oh dear never mind I can go over that again There you go, he's got that little bit more life in him now. He has his white hair. There we are. Next what we need to do with him is, what I want to do is I want to put a little spot of this white on the palette and a little spot of water. I want to just try and get just down here either side of his tie in fact I can just do his tie so I can go over that again and I want to go here where you see shirts peeping out from under his jacket there we are and here where he's Again, his shirt is peeping out from under his jacket. And really, we should wait for this until after, but... I mean, he, al he almost looks complete now in a grey suit, doesn't he? But we're not going to stay there. We're not going to stay like that. What I want to do now is just make sure I go over his face again because I don't want to leave it like that. Because knowing me, I will forget. So, I so say we're just going to. That's much better. Uh, what I can't understand at the moment is why, with such a big, um, following of the Cthulhu mythos and the HP Lovecraft movies, that there hasn't been a film made so far. I'm not complaining about that because, let's face it, some of the films that have been shown. Or some of the films that have been made are completely, um, what's the word I'm looking for, completely ruined um, things, but, you know, it just seems strange that nobody's attempted one yet. I know there's been Reanimator and there's been, um, been a couple of Reanimator films you've heard about West stuff, um, but there's nothing really major about the Arkham, uh, Hunch of Arkham and the Miskatonic University and Cthulhu. Mind you saying that, when you get around to the Cthulhu mythos, we've got to get it right, otherwise there'll be a lot of people going a bit uh, lurry over it.
<laughs> oh dear. Right, so we're going with our Rhinox hide now, and we're going to be trying our best not to go over the model's hair. I'm still not over this viral infection that I've that's been plaguing me for the past week or so and my hands are incredibly shaky so I'm trying my best not to um, go over areas that don't need to, that I shouldn't go over but I know full well there will be times when I will do um, in that respect nothing really I can do about it all I have to do is try my best to go over it cleanly later on Okay, like I said, any little mistakes we make can be rectified, don't worry about them. So that's why I pointed out my shaky hand, because I can, I can actually literally feel myself shaking. I feel really shaky today. It may not have been the best of times to start doing these models, but I want to get them done. I'm itching to get them done. Okay, so here we go. And we're going around here with the, like I said, the Rhinox hide. It was a dark brown, but what we're looking for is like a dark, well, not a dark brown, a mid brown colored suit that he's wearing. Um, we will be brightening this up later on with highlights. Um, so lucky that I nearly got to caught his hair. I have caught his hair now after saying that. Oh dear. Never mind, it's just a small amount of... That's what I mean about my hands being shaky. I wish they weren't so shaky. I'm going to be doing the trousers as well because as I said it's, it's going to be a suit in fact I may go as far as to do his shoes we will be doing this is just as I said, the base coat it's not the the actual finished colour I'm just going to give this a shake and see if there's more I can get in the lid because it's going to work out easier doing that way. Yes, I've got some in the lid. There we are. Okay, now all I have to try and do is wedge my hands against something. So I wedge my wrists against something in the hope that I can stop them stop my hands from shaking enough to be able to get round his shirt cuff so okay same again I 
now so the major problem I've got with that area is if I go over the white then I'm going to be going over the brown with the white and if I go over the white I'm going to be going over so and if I go over the brown with the white oh, oh, oh I don't know I know what I'm trying to say I just don't know what I've said before and And I really should have done the waistcoat first because I said we we'll do these from the outside in. So from the inside out. Oh dear God, Stephen. When camera starts, put brain in gear before you start talking. Thank you very much. But I suppose in this instance it may may be a better idea. To do the um the suit jacket before the waistcoat. Getting that and now his trousers. So, it may look dark now, but once we've got the highlights on, it will all change. Here we go. So I want to do the shoes as well as the trousers and the uh, jacket. All the similar colour of clothing for this at this point anyway, at this stage of the operation. Um You'll see how things will change as the painting of the model progresses. You can't judge a book by its cover as they say. You also can't say how a painting is going to look at the end when you're part way through. There we are. So that is our <coughs> Professor um, Harvey Walters. Next, what we need to do is find him his um, his tie. I said we'd have. Scrag brown tie. And it's just a case of a little bit of paint on the brush and can see well, that's it for that <coughs> and I also said I wanted to mix some of the red in with the um, with the brown to make his waistcoat and I want a lot more red than brown for this I want it more of a you know, very reddy colour, like a brick red kind of look. There we are, that will do. And 
that will be our waistcoat and we're not going to waste this colour as well even though I've mixed quite a bit of it because I'm going to add another colour to it completely to form the colour for the book the waistcoat goes down to that down there There we are. And the other colour I'm going to add for the colour of the book is Abaddon Black. And just a spot of this, not much. And we'll need a spot more. I'm just adding little touches of this just so I can get the colour that I like. There we are. That will do nicely, thank you very much. I'm sure it's not a million miles away from the uh, Rhinox Hide, which is a pity. I thought it would have been quite a bit different. Never mind, not to worry. Just remembered, books have pages. I really should. Oh. Okay, so that's that bit done. And next what we want to do is, as I said, books have pages. So we're going to go over the edges of the book in the white. That again is going to be altered. With washes won't look white for very long because I don't think the the book that you'll be reading would have such crisp white pages and I think it would all be yellowed and foxed with age so there we are that's the majority of him done 